Hello, my lovely Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of June 12th through the 18th. I was getting ready to do your reading and Spirit said you better bring out the sage for this one. So it does feel like you've, you're dealing with a little bit of heavy energy. These cards flew out right away. Look at that. Five of Wands, the Fool, the Devil, Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. I feel like some of you, no matter how many times you try to walk away from toxic people, situations, drama, maybe you've got a karmic that you're dealing with. Every time that you try to start something new, you may be dealing with someone who's got some narcissistic tendencies. It's like they purposely go to ruin your next chapter your whatever it is i feel like you've got somebody jealous around you does not want to see you do better than them or just do better without them you know so as i was saying aries welcome to your weekly reading aries sun moon rising and venus sign june 12th through the 18th thank you thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys so so much here we go uh-huh and there we are karmic justice for a peaceful home life a beautiful relationship things falling into place in a family situation partnership uh things going your way if it has to do with any type of legal proceedings judgments in your favor uh the end result will be in the favor of you children household whatever it is even if you don't feel that it's in your favor i'm, I'm hearing that for some of you it's really in your favor when you look Look at the bigger picture and the long run okay so i'm hearing even if you're not getting exactly what you wanted the bigger picture here really gives you less of a headache than what you've been dealing with okay so uh aries thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys so much if you did not catch the all signs read for the first part of june i will link it up here um and i will also link it at the end if you would like to book a personal reading first of all thank you to all those who have already the links are in the description box below so let's tap into the rest of this weekly energy what are you dealing with um yeah immediately like as i was getting ready to do your reading i just heard spirit say yep you're gonna look at that five of wands came back out again you're going to need that sage because Aries is dealing with some nonsense, right? And so as I was saying, uh, Justice card and the Four of Wands, your two major arcanas for the week are the Justice and the Judgment card. So the most significant energy for the week ahead is things being in your favor. If you've been in this long drawn out battle, custody, court, um, probate, uh, whatever legal issue that you have been dealing with. I'm also hearing it could also be to a car. Um, I'm also hearing for some of you, there is some unfinished business that you didn't realize has been left unfinished. Uh, for example, some of you think your probation is over. Some of you feel like you've done all your community service. You've paid all your fines. Whatever it is, it, you know, apply it to your situation, Aries. I know not all of you have any type of legal stuff going on. Uh, but I do feel like some of you need to double check that everything is, you know, the way it should be, right? Like, like, are you missing any signatures, any documentation? Are you missing any admin fees? Whatever it may be. Now is your chance to get ahead of the game. Now is your chance to look into it, investigate, even get a confirmation or receipt, something that's going to back you up, okay? Because I do feel like even if you think that there is a specific situation that all of that, you know, long drawn out issue is old shit, it's over and done with, there's no reason why that's going to come creeping back in. I'm hearing that for some of you, you're going to get a notification, you may get served, you may get some sort of call from like a collector or a creditor trying to say like, hey, you didn't handle this. And you're like, boom, bitch, I got proof. <laughs> I got credit. I got a receipt. I got, you know, signed by the judge, whatever it is, right? I do feel like you do come back stronger for, for that, okay? Now, I do have to say, I know this isn't for everyone. If some of you are on probation or, you know, you're supposed to be abiding by certain rules, 
I feel like someone is going to get really pissed off at you and kind of point the finger at you for breaking whatever clause maybe you had uh, or vice versa. You may be at that point of you are just so sick and tired of dealing with someone who doesn't play fairly that you don't even want to engage with anymore. Don't even want to like, you know, engage, indulge, play with like you're just done you want to walk away right i feel like you think if i do this will they leave me alone once and for all right i just heard like someone gets pinched okay so whatever that means to you four of cups knight of pentacles five of wands there is this sense of restoring your home life um you know the stability in your home with that four of wands some of you it is about eviction notices kicking someone out of your rental property and trying to restore some sort of peace some sort of tranquility uh, I'm also hearing for some of you if you are with someone and you share a home living together you it's like you want to get a restraining order you want this person out of your house and like it almost feels like your hands are up in the air your hands are tied because they don't do anything but something finally happens where you're able to get this person out whatever it is I do feel like there is this sense of peace and restoration coming to your home, your family, your children's lives, if this affects children. Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands. This has been a long and ongoing dispute. It feels very like dragged out, okay? Like I even feel like someone really owes you a lot of money. Others of you, I feel like at this point, some of you are just like, just get out of my property or just get out of my life. Like, I don't even care about everything else anymore. Just leave me alone, right? I do get this sense of, you know, like I'm seeing the seven of wands in my mind's eye, like really standing up for yourself for a really long time, but now feeling very tired. I'm seeing like seven and nine of wands energy, right? So another nine, nine of pentacles here, three of cups, and the seven of swords. Okay, so you've got two fours here. You've got uh, the seven of swords. That's like, you know, lying, sneaky, cheating energy. But again, the outcome is, the outcome here is nine of pentacles and three of cups. So, you know, if you've been wanting someone out of your life, I feel they too are done with it. They're going to walk away. I also feel like you almost have to play dirty. And it becomes a tit for tat type thing, right? If you've if you've been afraid to play dirty, if you've been afraid to like sling the mud back on them, I feel like you are so fed up that you are just ready and willing to say to hell with this. I'm done. You want to fight? I got to fight for you. And that is when they realize, oh shit, Aries means business. I, I, I feel like they will crawl under a rock. It, it feels, you know, a little bit momentary. Uh, with the star card, I do feel like it gives you, again, a sense of peace, restoration, feeling like you can finally bring some healing and stability into your home. I also feel, I still get the feeling that this person may come back and try to start trouble later on. Yeah, another seven, seven of cups, which tells me they will try to find an excuse, a reason to come back in and try to cause chaos and conflict, try to start trouble. But this is the exact reason why I tell you this. Uh, Aries, because you got to get ahead of it. You got to get stronger. You got to get, you know, more grounded and clear minded. Do your protection work. Be so strong minded and strong willed and so grounded that them coming back doesn't phase you anymore, that they just give up. And it's like no more, right? Because the restoration is here. Ten of Cups. You got four of Wands, nine of Pentacles, and ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm telling you, regardless of the drama, the BS that you've had to deal with, if it's been money loss, if it's been, you know, legal and court battles, this is very beautiful energy for you. I am here for it. Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Some of you may go from your, you know, the what you imagined as your happily ever after in a 
partnership marriage relationship to then being single and independent and restoring your sense of self your self-worth and your peace and harmony in your home i do feel that Again, the money's going to be there, the emotional abundance as well. This feels like a sense of love and financial security and scales balancing in your favor. Uh, I do feel like whoever this is, they're either going to get it together or they're not. I feel like you finally just understood like there's no like look at that, the scales balancing in your favor. And look at that, the card I said I was seeing, the Seven of Wands and Six of Pentacles. So that's double confirmation on the scales and the Seven of Wands saying, listen, you know your worth, you know what you're deserving of, and you're not accepting any less. And if this person tries to come back and breadcrumb you and start drama all over again, you're like, yeah, that may have worked for many years, a long ass time ago, but I don't have time for your bullshit. So, you know, hit the bricks, pal, see your way out the front door or the back door whatever you choose just kick them on out right so it really is up to you how you choose to move forward in this situation i do feel like a lot of you will get that clarity and realization that you need about this connection this partnership or legal issues uh, but definitely whatever it is that you have felt has been looming over you that you've been waiting for some sort of resolution that you've been waiting for an answer or a judgment of some sort or just really to you know close a final chapter the nail on the coffin you're like i'm out goodbye leave me alone forget you even knew me you know and just stay out of my life, just stay out of my way, go do you boo, I don't give an F what you do with your life anymore, right? I do feel like they will get distracted elsewhere, you will find that sense of peace and restoration and harmony and happiness and joy, especially if you have children or like a family situation in the home, you will be on your healing journey, you will get grounded, so if and when this person does come back, which I feel strongly they will, they will try to start something all over again they may even come back kind of drunk you know under the influence whatever and you're just like look I'm not gonna entertain this I may have a few years ago months ago whatever but now I'm at the point I'm just gonna call the cops so leave now before I gotta call them and you got two minutes or that's it you're gonna watch me call the police and I feel like they'll leave you alone after that it's just those types of situations that you just have to take your power back and be very firm with your boundaries right so what's next what is Aries have in store for them after this situation yeah walking away forward movement clarity this is also going through your own you know awakening spiritual journey trying to find yourself and reconnect with yourself a sense of growth and independence i do feel like which is probably why you know the, the sage was trying to pop in here while i was getting ready for your re reading i do feel like there is this sense of clearing out the old to make room for the new and i feel like at this point you don't even know what the new will entail because that's part of the journey my friend that part of the journey is for you to discover what the new is the new you the you know the authentic you the happy you the joyous you the you that's been missing out on whatever you feel that has been lacking in your life or your children's life or your family situation your home life i'm hearing very strongly that for some of you it really is stability within the home whether just having a home period or financial stability or emotional stability and oh my god aries i am so sorry that you have been going through this but i'm also hearing mental clarity and stability like some of you have dealt with some crazy psycho you know narcissists um that have really literally made you feel like you are going crazy right gaslighting you and all that bs 
had to take a deep breath to release that energy, get that out of here. Reason why I had to bring the sage now, it's clear to me. It's time for you to clear out what no longer serves you. You know, do some cleansing, some clearing, do a spiritual bath, uh, and really just let go and release what no longer serves you. Release negative mindsets, people, places, things, situations, attachments, and also any type of working, evil eye, things of that nature that you may feel like someone has thrown your way because I feel like some of you have even been experiencing like psychic attacks, right? The exhaustion, the brain fog, feeling like you can't think or see straight, you know, not having the clarity. Uh, you're catching yourself making even the simplest mistakes. Yeah, you got to cleanse yourself if you're experiencing that, okay? So King of Fire, which is Aresio Sagittarius, uh, fire sign king, Nine of Earth, which is right here. You've got it twice. So beautiful, you know, message of confirmation for you here. Beautiful night of fire. A lot of fire energy, which is great for you being a fire sign. And boom, lot of beautiful fire energy. So let's get to it. You are a fire sign. So this should resonate with you, which tells me that you will be feeling more grounded and stable and clear minded. And so emotionally and mentally strong that you are no longer afraid to speak for yourself anymore because I feel like some of you maybe have been afraid to say anything or put your foot down basically. So the king of fire, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic, focus, 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 communicate with vision and be a leader, advice from someone creative. Now I find it interesting that you start off with the king of fire and <laughs> You also have the knight and the page. So you have all three except for the queen of fire. So I feel like some of you may have needed to get back in tune with that masculine energy and that inner child energy as well. Whether it's your need for balancing the feminine and masculine energies within yourself to not be afraid to speak up for yourself, but also allow yourself, you know, your femininity, you know, regardless of your gender or what you identify as. We both have we all have both, right? But I do feel that this may also involve other fire signs in your life. Could be a father, a brother, a sibling, a child, uh, you know, parent, partner. Uh, because Page of Fire is someone younger, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. The Night of Fire. Now, he's a little bit more, you know, like flip floppy energy, right? But he's passionate, adventurous, self-assured, but very restless, right? Sometimes cannot make a decision for the life of him. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think Think things through carefully. Now, the confirming message here, obviously a beautiful message here with your nine of earth, nine of pentacles. Look at these beautiful cards. I mean, if that doesn't scream independent, beautiful queen of abundance here, okay? And male or female does not matter, but definitely assert your highness, your royalness, right? However you say it, your royalty, you know, king or queen energy, ember, empress energy, you know, enjoying life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Very, very beautiful messages here. And because we are uh, under this beautiful super moon, full moon in Sagittarius energy, I've been pulling from the Moonology deck for closing messages for all my signs. And here we go, look at that, you got two cards, both purple, so you may need to do some crown chakra work, clearing, connecting with it, connecting with your guides. You have new moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius, you may have Aquarius in your chart, but I also feel that regardless of the situation, no matter what you do or the outcome or how you need to go about things bring love into the situation love for self love for mankind love for humanity love for all those involved right and love yourself enough to say damn it no more right set those boundaries 
full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. I mean, hello, can it get any clearer, my friend? Release the negative people, situations, attachments, mentalities, thought process, or whatever it is that they have convinced you of in a negative way and bring love into the situation. And I really feel like, look at how that water goes in. It's like she's refilling herself, herself with love, you know? I feel like one more card for you as I close this out. One more, yes. Nothing yet is yet set in stone mutable moon this is very very beautiful energy a lot of watery energy here so some of you may need to go near water again i'm hearing very loudly very clearly do your spiritual bath work especially if you can do it under this um you know super moon energy that's going to absolutely help you release the negativity release other people's negative intentions evil eye you know it's unfortunate that there are some pretty miserable people out there that have to do that to hurt others. And I hope that you are able to clear yourself of that energy and come back stronger than ever. Aries, I really wish you all the best. I cannot wait to see all the goodness that comes for you in the next few readings as I will be recording next week's reading in a couple days. And I'm going to get a head start on the July readings as well. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on because I will start to go live probably at the end of this week. I will do live bonus readings. I will also be taking live questions online and you don't want to miss that. If you'd like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Your playlist is here and your other reading, whatever I have for you is here. And I can't wait to see what's next for you. Take care, Aries. Bye.